Mary Phillip, first made England captain in 2003. I was born and bred in Peckham, you know, grown up in Peckham, done everything within Peckham. From there to my primary school where we were given that opportunity, girls only to play football, where the boys wouldn't let us play. It was like, right, girls only football. Um, and it was fantastic. And it all grew and continued to grow from there. 1995, you're eight, 17, 18 years old and you receive a World Cup call up. Describe some of the emotions you went through receiving that news and how did you receive the news? I received a letter from the FA saying that you've been like, pulled up into the squad um, for the upcoming World Cup. And it was a surprise because I'd only been to a couple of training sessions and I'm now going to a World Cup. Um, but it was, it was also amazing because it's like, you're there, you know, you've been called up and it's like, how do you get to stay there? Because it's one thing getting there and getting called into the England squad, it's another thing can you actually get into the squad itself and not just be a member of that squad and become a part of it. Um, so just going out there with the players that were there, you know, it was amazing and seeing the requirements needed, the standards needed um, to be able to push and develop into that squad, you know, it was a great experience. Like you had, um, obviously, Brendan Sampari who played at the back, which is the position I played in. Um, you had Hope Powell in the middle, you had Kerry Davis in the middle, you know, these were great players. I thought like um, Hope had had captaincy before I was had it because I know that she'd been vice captain a few times. Um, but you don't always look at the captaincies as you go along the track. You know, it went until a few years back that I found that um, that I had become the first black female captain, and um, years after me actually having received the captaincy. You know, and it's a it's a great honour to hold that. And you know, like I said many times, that is something that always goes down in history. Now, like, it's long after I'm gone, my great great grandkids will be able to see that when looking back in him, women's football and say, "Hey, Mary Phillips, that was my grandma." You know, and she become like um, England's first black captain. How did leading your team out, leading your country out, make you feel? You know, it's a great honour to, um, to be captain and to lead a team out, but like, I always don't see one captain out there. All of us have a role and all of us are captains, but only one of us get to wear the armband. That's because the referee only wants to talk to the man in the armband. And the referee and the managers will always try to give you their message to put out to everyone, because it's hard to shout out to everyone on the field at times. Um, to be able to go out there, give the messages and be able to lead and uplift the team and carry us forward, you know, that's a great experience to have. What was your leadership style? Do what you can do, you know, don't try and do the impossible, you know, if the options are there to play it first time, play it first time, don't make things hard for yourself. And I think that was pretty much, I'd like to think it's pretty much how I put things out um, when I played the game smell. Um, just take things easy as you can and don't try to do the things impossible. How much do you think the role as an England captain has changed over the years, spanning from Sheila Parker to Leah now? How much has it changed? It all comes to a player's personality and what they want to bring to a game, but your captaincy role is something that's prestigious to yourself and how you are as a person. So it's something that persuades you out there and what you want for your team. Um, so I don't think the role itself has changed because captain's role is a captain's role. It's just the person who's the captain at the time, how they pull it out there and how they rally the team up around them to make sure the team is given the best performance out that they possibly can. Would you have loved to captain the modern England side? A modern England side would be a nice one to captain, um, but I don't see how it'd be any difference to when I did captain team, because I'm sure when the girls have all got that same drive and same spirit to go out there, play perform and get a result. And as long as you're all wanting that and gunning for the same thing, I think the results and the atmospheres would all be the same. Apart from you'd have a bigger crowd out there now, um, egging you on and that gives you that extra drive. And um, any advice for Leah Williamson going into the tournament? Just be the player you are, that's all you can do.